Okay, you guys, get ready. This is major, this is real, this is deep. This is the all new for 1956 Mark II by Continental. And yes, you are looking at the rarest of the rare of the rare. Behold the glory of this, for it is one of, well, we're gonna find out exactly how many convertibles. And you're probably never gonna see one as long as you live. Where do we begin? Look at that. Look at those style lines. Look at the divine simplicity of that exquisite design. I know I'm a little speechless. You do not see one of these every day, but I found out about this car and I just had to share it with you. Look at those backup lights. Look at those tail lights. They're like rubies and diamonds, aren't they? I know. Whoa, did you see that? No. And look at that Continental kit built right in, and it says Continental kit. There's the little Continental man right there. He's the little, under there is where the key goes. Beautiful. Oh, I'm beside myself, aren't you? I know. Look at the glittering wheel covers. Each one of those little spinner bars is bolted on individually. Each one. I know. And look at the divine sweeping side styling. Did you know this is one of the finest cars ever built in the United States? Hand built for just two years. Look at that front end right there. Look at that. Look at that grill. Look at those headlights. Look at those parking lights. Love these details. Can you turn on the lights? Watch this. Whoa, did you see that? Behold the glory. Oh. Okay, we're going in. Look at that meaningful door handle. Look at the little keyhole has a little cover over it. And you guys, wait till you see. Look. The chrome finish plate on the interior of the door, not to mention on the body. Look at that beautiful sill plate and look at this door panel. Where do we begin? Don't you love those buttons? I know, that's the, that's the heating duct right there. I almost said air conditioning duct. Color coordinated door handle pulls. Look at six power windows and look at that dash. This is the epitome of civilization in the year of 1956. There it is right there, the Continental Star. I love all the dials, that textured it must be metal behind. I was gonna say aluminum, but I don't think on this car. And look at those levers down there, the radio. Behold the glory, and how much do you love the upholstery pattern? Look at that. I love the color of this car. It's like what I call well, it's kind of like a blueberry gray, isn't it? I know. I'm in shock. I'm in shock, and I know you are too. For this is a miracle to behold. Oh, look at that right there. Whoa, uh-huh. I know. Oh. Look at the exhaust. Comes right out of the bumpers right there. I love this little swoop in the body right there another view of the beautiful instrument cluster and steering wheel exquisite in every detail in every way every day not to mention the wraparound glass the windshield there power antenna and of course let it not go unnoticed the legendary continental star right there and in case you forget what kind of car you're driving no problem it says it right there continental I know. And oh, in case you forget what kind of a model it is, Mark II right there. Feast your eyes on that. Ooh. Also, we gotta have a little talk about the convertible top that lives underneath this what must be fiberglass. Do you know how rare this is, you guys? I mean, seriously, not joking around, I know. And yes, buttons, buttons. How much do we love buttons and levers? Meet Barry, the owner, right here. Hey, Barry. So, Barry, how rare are the 
56 Mark II convertibles. Well, there were three made, two by Hess and Eisenhardt and one by Durham. That was the Ford show car for late 1956. So there were 3,013 coupes made, but only three convertibles. Uh, one is missing, and the other one is in Boone, Iowa. Okay, you guys, you want to see under the hood? Of course you do, because there are special surprise treats under this hood. What size engine is this? This is a 368. 368. It was used on all the Lincoln products and on the Continental Mark II. The and valve covers were specific to this vehicle. Specific only to the Mark II. Only those to the Mark II. Special valve covers. Not to mention the fact that we've got the Continental Star right there on the power steering pump and on top of the air cleaner. Don't you love these details? And look at that gorgeous battery. Look at the condition under the hood here. Divine perfection. This 1956 Continental Mark II convertible is more than a mid-century modern masterpiece. More than a classic car. It is a world-class national treasure of the absolute highest order. Behold the glory. I know. Yeah, one last look, you guys. You gotta see it right there. Look at it sparkle. Look at those sweeping style lines. Look at the minimalism. Look at the divine simplicity. Oh, I know. Thank you, Barry. Rare is the day you're ever going to lay your eyes on one of these, so let's Behold the glory of this mesmerizing, hypnotizing, and spellbinding mid-century modern masterpiece of the absolute highest order. Where do we begin? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is a 1956 Mark II by Continental, hand-built for just two years by master craftsmen in Detroit, Michigan.